I find it deeply disappointing. Uh, I believe the police should be in pride. I've said that many times. Um, I tried to help, uh, among others, uh, in bringing the two uh, points of view, the two sides, if you want to call it that, uh, together. The police on the one part and uh, those uh, who are many in number who have uh, real concerns about the relationship between the LGBTQ communities and uh, police and, and pride has ended up in the middle of this, which is unfortunate. I will only say with as much objectivity as I can. Uh, that I believe that the police, led by Chief Saunders, who's been uh, uh, wonderful in terms of the way he has handled um, trying to uh, begin to address some of these issues and show signs of good faith, I think he's been terrific. I think Olivia Numa, the Executive Director of Pride, has been a very constructive player, and the federal government has been of help, uh, and I've tried to be of help myself. And I think that what that has resulted in is very significant signs of good faith and demonstrations and actions of good faith that have been taken by the police, by the federal government, by me, uh, by Olivia Numa, and, and by her board, uh, who, which, which made a decision to recommend the inclusion of the police in Pride in 2019. Um, I think that the inclusion of the police in Pride for 2019 uh, would be a positive step for a positive, beloved event, but much more it would be a sign of the good faith on the, uh, on, 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 on the overall picture here, a sign of good faith coming uh, from the broader Pride organization to continue uh, to have us all working even harder on what I believe are legitimate, outstanding, and in some cases historic issues uh, between the LGBTQ community uh, and the police. So I will continue to use my efforts and my office as mayor to do everything I possibly can uh, to avoid this city becoming divided and polarized. We see going on in every other corner of the world on a variety of issues, including places very close to home, a lot of division and polarization on issues like this. It's the last thing we need in the city of Toronto and the approach we were all taking to sit down and do the Toronto thing, which is that you sit down and you address the issues that have become uh, sources of great pain and you try and move them forward but it requires you to sort of be incremental in it it requires good faith on all sides to move it forward and i'm continuing to believe that that is what we can do here